Good morning everybody. Welcome to the next episode of our Lake District Adventures. This morning we are off on a hunt for to see waterfalls. So at the moment we are heading up towards Stickle Tarn um, but we are veering off a little bit just to is it Dungeon Gill? I think so. Dungeon Gill waterfall. So nice weather again this morning and uh, it's quite quiet. We had a bit of a lazy morning, <laughs> had some nice pancakes and yeah excited to go find waterfalls. It's got a strong swing on that one, has There's two Dungeon Gill waterfalls in this area and we've got no phone signal here so we did a little bit of research in the pub last night and um, there's a lower and there's a higher Dungeon Gill waterfall and from what I could see the lower Dungeon Gill waterfall was the better looking one but we've got to it and um, you can't really see it because it's way in there. So we're thinking maybe the higher Dungeon Gill waterfall is actually the better one so we're going to have to hike back and hike around. I think we have to go at one of the hills up here to get to it so um, yeah we'll try our best to get there so just over there is where we were in the last vlog and uh, that's currently down there in those trees is where we're parked and we're just hiking up these steps here now to go all the way up to Stickle Tarn and around us over there is some waterfalls just over there and there's waterfalls all around here so we're hoping when we get to Stickle Tarn it's pretty beautiful yeah there's some cloud up there at the moment but earlier there wasn't but there's blue skies so fingers crossed So we've pretty much finished the hike up to Stickle Tarn. We've come up the other route and we've just got the um, tarns just coming to view and then we're gonna hike down the new trail on the way back. But yeah, that was a tough trail. It's, it's quite warm today. So we're just both sweating, going straight up the hill. And um, yeah, it's nice that we've almost made it. And there's actually a lot more people coming up the other trail. So it's quite good that we came up this one because it was very quiet. And yeah, I think we're just gonna have a bit of a break. Maybe have some lunch up here check out the tarn and then head back down the mountain. This is Stickle Tarn. We're now going to walk around the tarn and we can walk around the whole of the, the tarn and get back to um, the new trail which cost I think it was about £30,000 to repair and it's supposed to be one of the most popular trails in Langdale so that's gonna be nice to go walk back down and we've got a couple of hours of sunlight left i think it might start getting dark pretty quick because there is a bit of cloud rolling in but yeah it's been a really nice day out so far
have almost made it back to the car park and we've had a great day out in the hills and um, we are about to head off and away from this area. We've been here for the last couple of days now and um, as much as it's sad to leave this area because we've really enjoyed it, we feel that we probably need to um, go and explore elsewhere. So yeah, we're going to go find a park up tonight, hopefully somewhere not too far away. Um, it's about three o'clock now, I think, so the sun has dipped behind the hills and it's starting to get dark. So we kind of want to get back and um, find somewhere before it gets dark because it's quite hard to find places when it's dark. So that is the plan and maybe have some uh, lunch or soup. We haven't had lunch. We had pancakes this morning and um, brought lunch with us, but we've just kind of had snacks and I don't think we've been that hungry. So maybe when we get to the bottom, all of a sudden the hunger will hit us. And uh, yeah, looking forward to getting back to the van and seeing the cats. Good morning, everybody. We have just arrived at Tarn House. I think it's about 12 o'clock now, is it? I can't remember. <laughs> We've lost so, track of time. It's 11 or 12. We just had a late breakfast yeah. or brunch. So. And the weather over the last couple of days has definitely changed. It's very bitter, it's very cold. It's definitely feeling a lot more wintry than it has been over the last week. Yeah, so, we're um, fully kitted, gloves, yeah. hat. We're a bit more wrapped up, but it's going to be dry, which is great. So there's going to be no rain and we can stay warm. And um, yeah, we're just going to explore around the tarn and um, see what's on offer here. this land was actually bought up by Beatrix Potter and she donated it to the National Trust. So you can park here, we just parked in the National Trust car park and um, it's quite a big car park, it's got facilities and everything and uh, yeah absolutely beautiful with all the trees and right out in nature. We've almost completed the whole of the walk around the tarn and just before we get back to the car park there's actually a waterfall so we're going to go have a quick look at that before getting back to the car park and seeing the cats in the van making sure everything's okay and probably just having some lunch and uh, chilling for the rest of the afternoon because we are both pretty tired um, it's been really good fun so far um, doing van life during winter but it's a lot harder than summer obviously there's more to do like cleaning all the compensation and um, the longer darker days just mean that you know it feels like it could be like 10 o'clock in the van already, but sometimes it's like 5 o'clock. So it just means the days are a lot shorter and you're spending a lot more time in the van. But yeah, it's been a good adventure so far. Good morning everybody. We have got the brolly back out again because the weather's taken a turn again. We've actually arrived in Keswick. We actually drove up here yesterday and we had beautiful views driving along the lake when we got here. And we stayed at a campsite so that we could fill up our water, empty the toilet, all that sort of stuff. And then this morning we've gone out to explore and it's raining. So yeah. we're out and about. We're going to make the most of it. And, we'll and we got a free, given a free ticket. Oh yeah, we got a free ticket in the car park. Really so nice person was like, here you go. I was like, oh, so nice. I've got two hours, so I'm going to try and make the most of it. <laughs> we haven't filmed much while walking around Keswick because it's been raining quite heavy, but we just wanted to show you this street because it looks really Christmassy and we've been to a few shops that have been really Christmassy. Yeah, there's so. lots of like little shops and um, the one we just went into was full of like all sorts of chocolates 
and uh, we resisted the temptation but I can't get chocolate off my mind now. <laughs> Everyone. So we are at Aero Force Falls and um, we've parked up here for the night. So we're in a natural, national, natural, national trust car park, which allows you to stay overnight. And we've enjoyed a really nice deep sleep and woken up to beautiful weather. So yesterday was horrible wet weather. We were in Keswick and went for a little walk around, but we just had a very lazy afternoon watching Gilmore Girls. <laughs> so now we are off on an adventure and it's supposed to be nice all day long so we're going to go and have a lovely autumnal sunny walk. And it was the coldest night last night so it was down to about one degree last night and um, but it wasn't too bad in the van. I only turned the heating on at about five in the morning but over the next few days it's supposed to stay about one, in, one, one degree at night time and I think it's because it's going to be clear sky so we make the most of it during the day because it's blue sky and sunshine mm. but we might just have to, heat, have to have the heater on a bit more so yeah, yeah. add our hot water bottles and, and we've only got helped. a few more days in the lakes anyway so we're just going to make the most of it and then um, enjoy our last few days Oh he's looking at us Guys we've just found a red squirrel um, Obviously the lakes has red squirrels here, but I've never actually seen a red squirrel in England in the wild before because obviously the grey squirrels have basically almost eradicated them. Yeah, but it's over. so cute. He's got little fluffy ears, he's got a really fluffy tail, he's yeah. quite small. There's and a little just, feeding uh, station and I think there's some nuts in there and he keeps going back in and going... <laughs> he's really cute. <laughs> I'm going to try to get close to him, see if I can get him on video, but obviously I'm not going to be able to get that close to him. So if you can see him, then hopefully I've got close enough. So Hannah noticed yesterday on one of the signs that they said a large tree had fallen across the footpath and we can see the first bridge down by the waterfall now and the tree's actually fallen right across the bridge and they said it's caused quite a lot of damage so they've closed that section of the footpath so hopefully the higher bridge is still open and we can go explore it. So this is the path that's closed because of the catastrophic tree fall it says um, and I'm not sure if you can see just down there on that bridge, just down there is where the trees fall on onto it. But the upper bridge there is still open and there's a waterfall. Oh, wow. So we've just made it to the top of the air force, we're standing on the bridge looking down. It's such an amazing view, such a beautiful waterfall. And we can see just down there where the other bridge is closed because a tree has literally fallen right across the bridge. It's pretty crazy. But yeah, it's pretty quiet this morning, beautiful sunshine weather, and yeah, just having a really great time. a lovely morning walking around Aeroforce and there's so many different types of little waterfalls and bigger waterfalls around here that it really makes it an interesting walk and there's lots of circular walks you can do around it. Yeah there's so much to see. Yeah and it's just been beautiful sunshine and really really nice and relaxing. Good morning everybody we are up with the sun this morning the sun is just coming over the mountain behind us and we're out giving Tear and Sky a nice early morning walk. And we've just walked to the top of this hill and um, where the sun's hitting so they can have some time in the grass and yeah they're just really good at their walks at the moment they're having a great time and um, yeah just really enjoyed a nice peaceful night here last night stayed at the same camp uh, campsite same car park 
as we did before, which is the National Trust Air Force one, because you're allowed to stay overnight here. And we were the only van, only vehicle here all night. And the tears just uh, off on our walks. So yeah, gonna have another beautiful sunny day, I think. We've just come down to the lake on Allswater for sunset and um, there's like a little peninsula here just opposite the car park and the sun's just dipped below the mountains for the evening and um, yeah we're just going to go for a little wander around here before heading back to the van and um, going in for the night and just having a nice chilled evening and this is probably where we're going to leave this vlog so we're actually going to a place tomorrow that we're really excited to get to. It's one of our favourite places to stay in the Lake District. It's one of our favourite places to stay in England. And so um, we're going to leave a little link up here as like a little teaser from when we were last there. And then in our next episode, we'll show you all, array, all around the place that we're staying. So thank you so much for watching this episode. Don't forget to like and subscribe and leave a comment down below. And we'll see you guys in the next one.